Hi, this video explains how to control multiple relay boards in Lightboot. Now here we've got two relay boards attached. This is a one channel relay that's attached to the USB port. And here we have a two channel relay, again attached to the computer via a second USB cable. Uh, and these are great devices, you can connect lights to these things and switch them on and off using commands issued by Rightboot. So let's have a look at the process. I'm going to show you how to do this in the settings, but all of the things that I do in settings can be applied in the events using the start set switches commands on any of the screens. Uh, there's information about that in the manual. But here I'm just going to show you some of the settings and some of the commands that you can apply to the boards. So down here I've chosen to use USB HID relay boards, which is what these two things are. And as you can see here, it's showing me the names of the boards. Now Hurt M is the name of this board, which is automatically being detected by right booth. And 959BI is the name of this single channel relay. Okay, so let's do a simple a simple start. So I'm going to work with this board to begin with. Now I know that because the boards have been enumerated in, in a certain order, that right boot will issue a command to this board if I don't mention its name in the string. So I'm going to start off by turning on both channels. Now to do that, you just enter two ones. Let's click test. And you can see that both of the relay switches are turned on. If I do zero, 0, it turns them both off. So as I say, that command is going to the first board that right boot is finding. So I could turn just one on. And then I could turn the other one on. And then I could turn one of them off. and turn both of them back off. Right, so how would I turn this one on? Well, the way to do that is to actually precede the, the actual command with the name of the board. So let's do that. So I'm going to go 959BI, followed by a space. Now this board has only got one relay on it, one channel, so should I say, so I can only use one there. Let's just test that. Now you can see that's gone on. Set it back to zero. Now if I want to do them both, or if I want to control both boards, I have to enter the names of both boards. So I'm going to start with hurt m, turn both of them on. Notice I'm putting spaces between everything. Then I've got the name of the second board and turn that one on as well. Let's test that. All three switches come on. Put them all to off again. Zero zeros everywhere. And all three switches go off. So you can control multiple boards using this technique. Now, there's other things you can do. You can add delays. Uh, and then you can issue multiple switch settings between the delays. So let's just try it with one board first. So on the two channel relay board, I'm going to turn both switches on. Then I'll have a space, and then I'll put W, which means I'm going to wait. Now the next thing you put in is the amount of milliseconds that you want to wait. So I'm going to wait one and a half seconds. So I'm going to put 1500 which is one and a half seconds and then I'm going to turn them both off so just to recap we're talking to the Hurt M board which is this one we're turning both switches on then we are waiting with the W command for 1500 milliseconds and then we're turning both switches off so let's test that So as you can see, it waited that the switches were both on 
for one and a half seconds. Let's just do that again. Okay. Now, what we can do is we can wait. Let's try waiting for 500 milliseconds. That's half a second. Then they'll turn off. And then I'm actually going to wait again. So I'm going to go wait for another 500 milliseconds, which is another half a second. And then I'm going to add another command, which is the R command, which is repeat. So what should happen now is that the switches will come on for half a second, then they'll turn off, and then after half a second, the whole thing will be repeated. So let's see what happens there. And as you can see, that's happening indefinitely now. So the R command will repeat everything for that board that has been issued prior to the R command appearing on the, on the command line. I can stop that here. Now, you can do the same with the other board as well. So let's just have a go at that. So 959BI, turn the switch on, wait for a thousand, a thousand milliseconds, which is one second, turn the switch back off, wait for another second, and repeat. Let's try that, see what happens. So you can see that the two channel board is going on and off every half a, every second and the one channel board is going on and off every two seconds. Now the interesting thing to point out here is that this set here of instructions is happening totally separately from this set of instructions. So what happens is that right boot will fire these commands to both of the boards at exactly the same time and then they will they will execute their own instructions using their own weights and own settings. So let's just try something else. I'll just close all this off. So here I'm going to turn both board, uh, both switches on, wait for one second, then turn them back off. And then on the other board, I'm going to wait for one second and turn the switch on. So what should happen now is the first board will immediately turn the switches on. It will wait for a second and then it will turn them both off. Meanwhile, the other board will be waiting for a second before it turns its switch on. So we should see that the, sec the, the second board will switch on when the first board switches off. Let's try that. So let's do that again. So you can sequence them. That's what I'm saying here. You can sequence switches on one board and the other just by getting the delays right for both the boards. Let's just try this here. So I'm going to add, um, I'm going to wait another thousand and turn that off. Let's try that. Let's do that again. So as you can see, it's quite a sophisticated uh, approach here to controlling switches on multiple boards.